Hey everyone, what's going on? Amanda Collins here. So if you're thinking about moving to Saco, Maine and you wanna make sure that you have all of the information to make the best choice for you, well, you have come to the right place. I'm going to go over the five things you need to know about living in Saco. And I'm gonna throw in a bonus one at the end, so stick around for that. All right, now, what is the first thing you need to know, which is important of all New England states, and that is the weather. So as I film this in real time, we are towards the end of January. We just had two snowstorms with about six inches of snow, at least here on the coast, more inland. Um, but then two weeks ago, we had a 50 degree day. So the weather here is very unpredictable and you want to be prepared. That is my message to you about the weather here, be prepared. So our winter months are December, January, February, and halfway into March. It is rather cold, usually between 20 to 40 degrees. We do get a decent amount of snow. However, more towards the coast, uh, we tend to get less than they do inland and in the mountains. And then coming into March, April, and May, those are our spring months signs of life. <laughs> the trees start to blossom, the grass starts to turn green, um, and it is, you know, can be kind of rainy, but we have a good mix of rain and sunny days. And then coming into summer, we have June, July, August, and the first half of September are summer months. Um, it usually is between 70 to high 80s for temperature, although we do have that humidity, so it can seem like it's hotter than it actually is. And in the evenings, we don't always tend to cool down. It can stay up in the 60s in the evenings, which it does feel really nice. If you, if you like to be out at night and you love that warm weather, then it's the perfect time of year to be here. And then coming into fall, so the latter part of September, October, November, that's our autumn season. Um, it does look very beautiful. The leaves start to turn colors and it's just a great season to go through. We do cool down a little bit, get back into those 50s and 60 degree days. And then of course, as we come back into December, <laughs> we get back into winter. All right, number two on the list, and that is the school system. Part of the reason that the market here in Saco is staying so hot is because people want to live here because of the school systems. Um, and as a person who grew up in Saco, I went to Saco schools and they are excellent and they have maintained that reputation. So let's walk through what the options are for schools. So for kindergarten through second grade, there are two options. And it just depends on where you live geographically in Saco. The first one is Young School, and the second one is Fairfield School. And then when we get into grades three, four, and five, they all go into one school, which is called Burns School. For middle school, which is six, seven, and eight, they uh, we have Saco Middle School. And then for high school, we have Thornton Academy, which is, it's technically a private school, but because it is the only high school we have in Saco, it is a public school. And they also have dormitories on the school, which they built recently. They were not there when I went to school, but they have since added them. And what that's done is that's brought a lot of students from overseas and from different places in the world um, that want to go to Thornton. So it's a very well-respected high school, um, has lots of great culture, has lots of different classes and um, excellent extracurricular activities. So definitely very very desirable to go to school here in Saco. Number three on the list and that is community. So even though Saco has about 21,000 residents we still maintain that small town feel. We have a beautiful historic main street that's filled with businesses that have been here. Some have been here for several years. Others are startup businesses. Um, we do lots of festivals and parades and events throughout the year to just really reinforce that feeling of community that Saco offers. And I've noticed that people that lived here that I knew when I was younger growing up they still live here and they still maintain their homes, as well as friends that I've had that have moved away, as soon as they start families, they want to move back here to Saco. So it's just a wonderful place to live and to grow up and to raise a family. Number four on the list, and that is we are a beach community. So we have miles of sandy beach. Our public beach is called Bayview Beach, and there is parking down there. If you are a Saco resident, you can just go to City Hall and apply for a permit, and you're allowed to park down there all season. You don't have to pay anything extra. There is also bathroom facilities, as well as there are lifeguards there uh, through the summer months. 
And then the other really cool thing is they have this ramp that rolls onto the beach. So it makes it really easy if you're bringing a wagon on, if you're pushing a stroller or it's wheelchair accessible as well. So a very cool thing that they've done. Now, another beach that is in Saco, that's actually a little ways back from Bayview is called Ferry Beach State Park. Now, as I just said, State Park, it is maintained by the state. You do have to pay a fee to get in there. Um, but again, it has beautiful sandy beaches, hiking trails and picnic areas. So a really great place to spend the day. And number five on the list is one thing that's really important to me, and that is the commute or the accessibility. So Saco has its own exit off of Interstate 95, and we are only about 20 to 25 minutes outside of Portland, depending on where you need to get to. And that's really important because a lot of people tend to work in Portland, but they live in the surrounding towns outside of Portland. Um, we also are 45 minutes from the New Hampshire border, so there are several people that work in Portsmouth and in that area, and that is a very easy commute for them as well. And then the other one is Boston, which is kind of our major city here in the Northeast. Um, we are only an hour and a half away from Boston. And again, it's just a really easy drive right down the interstate, very direct. And what's great about that is if you were going to say a sporting event or a concert, or if you wanted to fly out of Logan Airport, again, it's just a very easy commute. Um, we also have an Amtrak station here in Saco, which goes up the coast, and then it also goes down as far as Boston, right into North Station, which is also TD Garden. So again, if you're seeing concerts or going to a hockey game or a basketball game, very easy to get down in there, and then you can just take the train back home. We also do have our own airport here in Portland. It's called Portland Jetport, and it is smaller. Um, it usually goes into like the bigger hubs in the Northeast, like New York, New Jersey, Charlotte, uh, Baltimore. I know that there are a few direct flights into Florida just because we do have a lot of residents who will winter in Florida and then they'll summer here in Maine. So again, it's just a great option if you need to get somewhere, you know, you know that you can at least get into one of those major hub cities. All right, and as promised, my bonus one. And that is we have an, what's called the Eastern Trail System and that runs through Saco. So it actually starts at the very tip of Maine in Kittery and it runs up to South Portland. It's 26 miles of trail and it's just a really great way to explore the coast. Um, you can snowshoe it right now in the winter, you can bike it and you can walk it. So again, just a really cool thing if you're into recreation, getting outdoors, um, it's just a really interesting trail to explore. So, all right, so if you have any questions about the market in Saco or what's available for real estate, please reach out to me. I've got my email and my phone number below. Call, text, email me. Um, I'm here and I am ready to help you. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye.